Hey everyone, and welcome to another video in my DIY and how-to kind of series. So this is probably going to be a video like part one of two. Um, this is a DIY I'm doing for a dance team I'm on. So I'm going to be spray painting a big piece of canvas type fabric um, with the logo. So it's generally if you wanted to try and spray paint like a, a wall hanging or like a tapestry as like urban outfitters might call it. So I'm going to be doing, that will be part one and hopefully part two I'll be doing a tie-dye version of just a tie-dye wall hanging. This video anyways is going to be the stencils and spray paint of this wall hanging. So the first thing you can see me doing here is lying the fabric flat. I know I'm dressed a little bit like a crazy person, but that's what you have to do. So I'm just um, putting the center oval um, within the center. I had the center marked and then used the outer shell kind of uh, to make sure the whole thing was correctly centered and I would be spray painting the middle. So I'm putting some rocks from just my garden um, around the edges to make sure it stayed down. I used oil cloth for this. Um, so like an old table covering that was uh, all stained and everything. So I'm just making sure that it's all going to be sealed down. Um, it didn't turn out perfectly, but you know. Um, so this is, I'm using Montana Black, I think is the name of the brand, spray paint. Um, that's the black color. This is the red, it's known as cardinal red. I don't think you can read the top. And then I'm also using the white out version, which is a strong white to my knowledge. Um, and it just has a different colored cap. So when you are using these, you have to shake them for like three minutes, um, but I obviously just didn't record that. So I started off by spraying the whole big uh, oval. I found the colors of the white and the black to be much stronger than this red. Uh, the cardinal red, I found it transferred quite a lot. It just wasn't giving the color payoff that I was looking for, but still I did use it. Um, there's me, just show my butt to the camera. But I tried to make the edges as neat as I could. It didn't work out perfectly, but no craft really does. Um, so I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm not sure if I addressed it for a uh, dance team I'm on. It's like our logo and it's just um, for me to be able to well, for a, it's just for the team to be able to hold it at events, hang it up um, at different kind of recruiting things, just for fun, really, because um, I like making crafts. So I put the letters, I filled in the letters from where they had been cut out and put the centers in and held them down to make sure that it was perfectly aligned because I had cut these stencils out on cardboard um, or the back of photo frames that wasn't being used, uh, things like that, and it... I thought the paint was maybe still wet, but it was actually fine. Um, that's what I'm doing there. So I cut it out using a carpet knife, and then I just placed it. I used extra oil cloth to cover it up. There's me. You should actually be wearing gloves and a mask using spray paint, which I didn't realize until I took the white paint. So um, there's me spraying the white paint, and it had better color payoff, even though it was over a dark red. It's very very slightly pink in person but you'll see at the end the white leaked quite a bit um which I was kind of annoyed at and I ended up having to go over and correct it by putting the cutouts of the letters make sure to save those um and put those over the white and then went over it again with the red um which helped tidy it up a bit but to be honest it wasn't going to be perfect it's so big um it's hard to make everything every little thing perfect so I held down the middle of some of the letters um, to make sure it didn't leak because that would be very difficult to fix. Um, so yeah, you can just see that I have all the oil cloth around it to make sure I'm not getting any white on things. But I ended up actually getting a little bit of white. The cardboard that I used at the top didn't work very well. So I ended up having to correct that. I didn't film the whole rest of the process because that would make this video unnecessarily long. And you get the idea. So um, I'll show you the final product I didn't really want to show like my school and everything but you know it's fine um there's the final product I know this is a really terrible clip but um I the jumping person was very difficult to cut out and um, it ended up getting a little bit stained around the edges from just paint transfer which is kind of annoying but still I think it turned out pretty well please give a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for part two mm -hmm.